hey guys now today let us learn about the block or shoe breaks actually block or shoe both are one and the same so basically we are deriving the force required to stop the brake so when a drum is rotating we apply a block with a lever which then presses is up it upon the outer surface so that it gets stopped so let us draw the diagram for that diagram for the block or shoe brake where this is the this rotating disc is a drum here lever where force is applied shoe or block which is in touch with the drum with the application of friction the drum is stopped with the application of the force now here the point middle point is pivot the upper o dash and the lower o double dash here frictional force equals to mu r n and the normal reaction r n acting on the lever here the distance from the pivot to point f force f is a and from the center of the drum to the other pivot point is b now let us write the various forces or and the values that is f equals to force applied on lever where rn equals to normal reaction on shoe block and here theta equals to shoe angle n equals to speed of drum and then d equals to diameter of drum and the a and b a and b distance from pivot point to force and to center of drum now also frictional force that is ff equals to mu r n that is frictional force now let us two conditions for rotation of the drum that is counter clockwise and the clockwise first of all we will take the counter clockwise conditions now having the counter clockwise condition counter clockwise conditions that is in this case the drum will rotate in counter clockwise direction and the pivot point lies above the o that is the pivot point pivot point is 
O dash in this case. That is the pivot point is below by distance E. Now taking the summation of moment of forces. can have now for equilibrium now for equilibrium summation of moment of forces at pivot point O dash is equals to zero. Now now force F into distance A minus normal reaction into distance B and frictional force FF into E. that is equals to 0. Now F A minus R N B plus where frictional force equals to mu R N mu R N into E equals to 0. Now solving this for the force we get force equals to taking the both terms on the right side we get Rn into B minus mu Rn into E upon the A. Now taking the common that is Rn that is Rn into B minus mu E upon A. So this is the frictional force when the rotation of the drum is counterclockwise. Now the second condition that is when pivot point is below O that is at a distance of distance of E. Distance of E. Now again writing the summation of moment at O double dash equals to zero we get force into A minus R N into B. Now since it lies below the pivot point we will take negative minus frictional force into E equals to 0. Now F A minus R N into B minus mu R N into E equals to 0 and now solving for frictional force F that is frictional force is taking all on the right side Rn B plus mu Rn E upon the A now taking Rn common that is B plus mu E upon A so this is the second one first second now from 1 and 2 we can conclude that the line 
of action of force for the line of action of force below the pivot point is less then when the line of action of force is above the pivot point now this the whole system, the whole can be reversed and the values can be change of all change of only sign for the clockwise rotation of the for the clockwise rotation of the drum so these are the forces required in order to stop forces required in order to stop the rotating drum with the help of friction thanks for watching